Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, my name's Glenn. So this morning guys, we're here on Abigail. We're just gonna have a little walk about through the town, through the parks, and uh, we'll see what's happening. No plan, we'll just see where we end up. So uh, come along, let's walk. Okay guys, so if you're heading into Abigail from A55, that's the direction you will come from. So just uh, around the of town. So guys, this here is the, uh, the River Gelly, where Abba Gelly gets its name from. Abba being an estuary, and Gelly, pronounced Gelly as well, so yeah, we say Gelly. Uh, that's the name of the river. Now you think that the river would flow directly out to sea, but it doesn't. From here, it turns eastwards and heads around the back of Tawin. And it joins up with the River Cluid up near Woodland and then into the sea. Wouldn't believe that, would you? Only found out recently myself. So, before we head on into town, I just wanted to have a walk up here and I'll show you one of the, uh, the parks. It's an Abigail. There's two parks. This is like main Abigail Park, we're going to be coming to in a bit. And we've got Pentramar Park, which is the big one down towards the A55. See a little bit of snow on the top of the mountain in the background. Okay, so we did wake up this morning to a light dust and nothing, nothing too much. And it's still cold. So guys, this is Abigail Park. Really nice in the summer if you just want to come down and sit and read for a little bit of time.
the sails are just there. It's not very old, it was only built in the last couple of years. Park. So we will come to the main park a little bit later. So we've done our walk through the town. Don't forget to hit the like button for me, please, guys. It really does help the channel out, helps to push it out to a wider audience, helps the channel to grow. And uh, hit the subscribe button for me if you'd be so kind. Really do appreciate it. So we'll just follow this path back into town. We'll see what's happening there. Indian takeaway, the chili, and a nice curry there. Nice chicken madras. What's your favourite? Now, this was the Gwindi for many, many years. It's had a lot of work done the last few months, it was closed at Christmas. I've called the winery, bar and kitchen. So, as far as I can see, it's being well refurbed. Must be opening on again soon. And this bakery is still closed. This, uh, there was a fire in the flat above. Oh God, early last year, must have been. Um, so yeah, this suffer fire damage. And hasn't reopened really since. Good little shop on your vintage uh, collectibles. Lock and watch repairs. Like Aladdin's cave in there. And coincidentally, that's what it's called Aladdin's cave. This is your herbal shop. And herbal, herbal remedies. So if you were to turn left up that way in your car, it would eventually take you to say five four eight continuation. Which eventually leads onto Clan Roof, Better see Coid. I'm gonna skip across here quickly. Yeah, uh, yeah, eventually end up Better see Coid out that way. Over the hills and far away. It's got the Georgian Dragon Pub on our left. Chapsy shop barbers. You'll never be stuck for a haircut in Abigail either. 
hairdressers and barbers everywhere. Nice butchers across the road. Only a house. So on the opposite side of the road there you've got all the blue fencing um, that's where Slaters of Abigail used to be the uh, car dealership uh, closed about five years ago then uh, many rumors of what is going to become of the site once it's all demolished uh, there was talk of a little supermarket for a while um, nothing seems to be coming of that uh, other rumours where it was going to be um, apartments, uh, that was housing association or private. Um, those rumours have stopped as well, it's all gone a bit quiet. But just at the back there, it's like a medical centre, NHS medical centre. And just here you've got Abigail Library. And then just here you've got Abigail Youth and Community Centre. And you've got what was for years and years Abigail Grill. Cafe, which has now changed hands, it's now called Roots. Roots Cafe of Abigail. And then just here, got your Tesco's. This is the buses do serve. Heading towards Blended Known Rill. Uh, you've also got the 13, which takes you to Fresh Dassin. Just in the distance up there, Abigail Castle. Recently made famous on the uh, TV show uh, Celebrity. Celebrity Castle, when you couldn't do uh, Australia, they came here during Covid, did the uh, Celebrity Castle lots of over there. So, yeah. so we're just going to head back into town slightly, um, to walk through the churchyard and onto the other park I was telling you about. So just across the road there guys, we just walked past it a minute ago, the Harp, which is the oldest pub in Abigail. Absolutely lovely in there, nice open fire, nice place to sit and have a pint.
and wine, whatever you're, whatever you're into. So this little path here takes us through the uh, church grounds of St. Michael's. It's funny, you're just yards away from the busy town centre and you can't hear anything once you're in here. It's weird. It really is an old churchyard, this. It's held by the, uh, the gravestones. That's just the back of Tesco there. Here, guys, this is Abigail Bowling Green. I've actually, cut through that takes you to the main road, leads you up into the uh, centre of Abigail. Pussycat. Oh, Pussycat. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> oh, gift shop. Yeah, so look to the right there, that just takes you up into the uh, centre of Abigail. And this way it takes you down towards Pensarm. Okay guys, so we've continued on. I'm now at the entrance of uh, the main Abigail Park, Pensarmar. We'll have a little walk through. Show you what's happening here. This is like the main park in Abigail. It's where 
most people will bring the dogs and picnic in the summer. Got a nice big uh, pond come lake, I suppose you call it. It's, uh, it's a really nice, relaxing place. A bit of a skate park just there. Usually see lots of squirrels one on about up the trees. I'm sure we'll see some before we leave the park today. We'll just cut them here. Don't forget to hit the like button for me, please, guys. Consider subscribing if you're not already. So this is the rugby pitch as well, as well as a park. It is a rugby. I hope you feel there. And you see the traffic passing in the background, that's the A55. The building there is uh, Pentamar, the residential home. Hey guys, good job I put my boots on. I'm sinking in the mud here. Should have stuck to the path. So I get for cheating and walking across the field. Right guys, so we're halfway across the park. It's flooded everywhere. It's literally sinking in the mud there. In fact, it's just as bad over this side. So, this is where the pond is. You know, ducks, wildlife. I don't know how close I'm going to be able to get. It's so flooded. Yeah, so that's one of the uh, ponds, there's another one. So where those reeds are, it's got like a little viewing area. You just sit and watch a wildlife. I don't know if I can get over there. Oh my god, it's sinking. I'm going to figure out the best way. I'm going to have to go around, I think. <laughs> Walk around the edge. It is a path that goes right around the park, just tarmac. You're gonna have to head for that, I think.
So guys, let me know in the comments. Do you come to Avergelly very often? Is there a place that you visit? Um, before the video ends, I'm going to show you uh, just on the castle grounds, if you like. It's a uh, touring site, caravans, camping. Um, I know that's become really popular the last few years. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll show you that before we, uh, before we head off. Yeah, it's got quite a lot to offer, Abigail. It's, uh, it's usually overlooked because obviously you've got Tower down the road and Rill, and then you've got Clendon out the other side. And we're sort of sandwiched in the middle. Totally different town to everywhere else. It's, it's, uh, it's more of a place to come and walk and relax, really. I'll just show you, turn the camera around. Yeah, so you've got a great view of Abigail Castle there. In the distance. I'm only going to head for this path because I'm sinking again. So we have had weeks and weeks of rain, haven't we? And uh, we had a bit of snow last night. Not, not loads, but. Enough to give the ground a soak. Hey guys, so I'm safely on the path. It's better. I was getting that sinking feeling. <laughs> Bring the dog here from time to time, let him have a good run on the park, he loves it. Lovely view, see a little bit of snow left on the hills up there. Well shaded from the uh, some of the, uh, with the trees. Shows you how cold it still is. That's a viewing area just on your right there. We'll have a little walk across. Bridge you can see just over the uh, over the motorway there. I'll take you straight onto Penzarn Beach. Uh, leads on from Sea Road in Abigail. Yeah, it takes you directly into uh, this Penzarn Beach there.
this week. Had a couple of little benches there if you fancy sitting down and chilling out for 10 minutes. I say in the summertime when it's nice and warm, it is a really lovely place to sit. Some ducks there. Council planted these trees last year. So it'd be nice to see them come into blossom. We also put these uh, picnic benches in. Gonna give them a good clean up when the, when the summer kicks in. Now have a picnic. Escape the rat race for a little bit. And as I said, that's uh, there's a bridge that takes you directly into uh, Penn's Arm Beach. So we're going to turn left and we're going to head back into town. And don't forget guys, if uh, if any places in particular you'd like me to go and uh, film, take a look at for you, I'm always open to suggestions. Let me know in the comments. Yeah, okay, so we're just at the top of Sea Road now, back into the uh, middle of Abigail. If anybody remembers the old derelict house that used to be on this corner for years, that's what it is now. Looks smart, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm going to continue on this way and take you up past the police station and the uh, town hall towards the castle.
There you go, that big alley town hall just there. And the police right next to it. This is at this point where you really start to head out of Abigail. Heading out towards Glandulus. You stay on this road, it's more a few hundred yards up. We come to a roundabout, and that's where the new um, Abigail Medical Center is. We've got new houses up there now as well, new housing estate, uh, other businesses. Look across this road while I can. Okay, guys, so this is the entrance to uh, Grey Castle. This is where the uh, camping sites are that I was telling you about earlier on in the video. So the castle's actually closed at the moment, not sure why that is. Yeah, so this is... Uh, on campsite. And we've got another one just on the other side. During the season they're always busy. I walk up here regularly and uh, it's always full. So if you're interested in bringing your caravan up here, you'd uh, book early. Manor Affen Farm. If you Google that caravan, you should be able to find it quite easily. The little farm, by the way, is just coming up on the left. It's another attraction that's uh, quite new in Abigail. It does do quite well as well. If, uh, whenever I do the twelves, during the summer, you're always dropping off now for the got families, you know, to come to the farm, feed the animals. It's just there. Uh, to show you through the gap. Yeah, but it is like got chickens running around and little goats. You used to be able to walk all the way to the top of this path right to the castle. Well, since the renovation works have been going on and the rest of it, it's closed off halfway up. Uh, you have to pay to get in there now. It's rightly so. It's, uh, the money goes straight back into the castle. Just helping to get it up and running again as an attraction. So you see. It's over there. All the work's been going on. These dinosaurs. Yeah, it's a great little place for the kids to come.
Non, non. 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 Yeah, they had a Christmas event on, on the build up to Christmas. Um, again, it was popular with the families. Santa Claus was there. Yeah, there's always something going on up here lately, which is great for Abigail. Also, they had an uh, event on Halloween. Some of you might have seen it or even went to it. Yeah, that actually took place up in the castle. It's on every year, you know. Many of you remember years and years ago, I've only ever seen old pictures of it, Abigail Castle. It used to have a little train, apparently. I think it used to lead from the bottom end here. It used to take people up to the castle, like a little miniature train. Yeah, Google it. I came across it accidentally one day and uh, I can not believe it. Really interesting to look back and see what, you know, what's been in the past. Great to see it being built up again. And then this path just leads you back to the main road. for our coal eh? yeah I noticed when I drove past the other day all these sheds not sure what it's going to be I'd say they're forever doing it up introducing new things to the uh, to the site so yeah I'll come back and film it when I, whenever it's complete <laughs> the doggy's going to say hello hello there are you friendly are you friendly I've got a dog here, you love to play with you. <laughs> okay. There you go, guys. That way to Glendulus. And that way back into Abigalley. Okay guys, so that's the end of today's walk around Abigail here in North Wales. Um, don't forget, if you have any uh, places of interest or any particular places you'd like me to film, drop it in the comments and I'll always do my best to include it in any future videos. Uh, make sure you hit the like button for me, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care of yourselves, goodbye for now.